This one, now this one, this is for truckers when they're driving down the road, you know, and those hours they gotta drive and they go like this. Watch this. What do you mean no? What? Yeah. Like that one? We just made it up. <laughs> we just make up that crap. We don't even know what we're doing next. Uh, this one here, th this is, you know, somebody was talking about uh, how I, I was explaining it on the last time we were just playing that because I play so percussive because drums was my first instrument. And of course, Jimmy, he's been playing drums since he was like 12 and a half months old sitting on a little. You were 12 and a half months old, you were sitting on a little thing like this, and you're going digga 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 because the guy sent me the tape, the video, I got it. <laughs> so anyway, <coughs> it's recorded, it's on videotape. <laughs> Does anybody have a 16-year-old at home? <laughs> yeah, well, anyway. anyway, he was doing that, and then all of a sudden I taught him the old Gene Cooper method because Gene Cooper was the man who made drums the, the first solo instrument in a big band. And I was raised on big band. I was raised in country and stuff like that. I, my trumpet, I was playing Louis Armstrong and Harry James and things like that. Keyboarders, piano is my favorite because I used to play the beautiful La Paloma love songs to my mom when she had her in a stroke. And, and sh she would just listen to me play the piano for her all the time. Then Jimmy would lay underneath the piano while I'm doing like Dr. Zhivago, Exodus, and La Paloma. And he'd go, hey, Dad, who wrote that song? He goes, the guy's a genius. And he'd get on the piano when I'd leave, and he'd just start copying. So we play by ear. We've never had a lesson in anything like, you know, I don't know what an augmented, I'm not a guitar player. I don't know what an augmented ninth or a thirteenth is. I can't even play the scale. So, but who cares? As long as I make it scream with pain or pleasure. And that's what I do. So this is very percussive, like I'm playing drums when I go, tick it tick it tick it tick You better not make faces. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see the tape on this thing afterwards. And if I see you doing things, no motorcycle for you on the on the desert thing. No. Okay. Well, you can't practice with your band. His band is FCC, Forever Came Calling. They just, just, just did a CD. Really kicking CD. Get on, uh, get on, yeah. Get on uh, Google and just go FCC, and then Forever Came Calling, and then it'll show the new record and just play it, and it's it's kicking. It's kick butt. Okay. Uh, this is... This is this is the uh, this is going to be two types of things. We're going to record this. When I call it the bond, because when I first started doing this rhythm, uh, even Jimmy said I couldn't figure out a, a place to go. And he said, "Well, Dad, why don't you put this part in?" He goes, "Hey, I'm teaching you." He says, "Yeah, but the son can teach the father too." So I listened to what he had to say, and he put his part in here. So this is called the bond. It's not completed yet. But we're going to do it in a big symphonic style with timpanies and da -da 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 -da. And then it stops and goes into a beautiful Latino piece that I wrote called uh, The Oasis of Mara. It's like Antonio Banderas walking down the, the dirt road with two uh, guitar cases with the machine guns in them. You know that movie. You saw that movie. Right? Okay, watch this. This is, the, this is the, the percussion way of picking. It goes like on drums when you go. Now watch. That was the Dick Dale trademark sound, but can you hear the one in the two in like that? All right, here we go. Watch this. This is going to be rough, huh? Do you realize how many people are looking at you if you're doing any funny things? And they're going to say, Dick, he's not really respectful and stuff like that. You're going to be respectful. <laughs> you're trying. 
Is he trying? Okay, here we go. Du Thank you. Here we go. Get ready for this. This is a more of a fun 
check, check it out right now so you know. So, all right, now watch this one. Well. You know, you don't get no more dibbity dots. I'm not.